Okay, so today we will be um, going more in depth into the experiments of of um, trying to prove spontaneous generation um, wrong. And I did two other videos about Spolanzani's uh, experiment and Reddy's experiment. And I also did a little bit about an introduction to spontaneous generation and biogenesis. So, um, well basically, uh, spontaneous generation was a widely accepted idea. And um, everyone thought that this idea would be... Uh, the proof to why every thing is, you know, occurred, like why a dried pound can still produce fish. Well, that theory is proved wrong today. So we're on this experiment. We're experiment. We're going to be talking about Louis Pasteur. He was a um, French scientist. He was born in 1822 and died 1895. And so, we let's go ahead and begin and talk about his experiment. So, we have um, six, or five, sorry, counting skills are off. But we have five uh, um, flasks. And we can see that they each have a curved, these have a curved neck. So, um... First, what he did was he boiled some broth, and we'll make this the broth. He boiled it. It was steaming, and it was a um, curved neck. Remember that. So, you know, the steam came out, you know, whatever. Steam. So, then, he um, let one year pass. You know, easy, one year. And after one year, the broth remained clear. So, nothing gunky in there. Nothing gunky at all. So, remember, one year passes. One year. So, um, and he lets the broth remain, and he, excuse me, the broth remains clear. Then, after that, he removes the curved neck. He removes it. The curved neck. Right? So, the curved neck is gone. Then, one day passes. One day passes. And what he gets, sure, he gets broth. Need to cut this off, excuse me. Sure, he gets broth, but with that broth, he gets some unwanted things. So the broth becomes cloudy. So, um, he re Pasteur reasoned that the contamination was due to the microorganisms being in the air. So then, um, eventually, those who had believed in spontaneous generation of microorganisms, they gave up their, they gave up their fight. And then the um, with the with Pasteur's experiment, the principle of biogenesis became a became a cornerstone of biology. So Pasteur's experiment was extremely beneficial to the uh, field of science, and it helped uh, uh, greatly. So I just wanted uh, you guys to. Um, gain more knowledge about Louis Pasteur and his experiment, um, make sure you guys subscribe and comment down below for more suggestions and more videos. I'd be more than happy to do them. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.